now, switching to the COVID pandemic. It certainly has taken its toll on just about every service industry you can think of, and apparently you can add ambulance service to that list of victims. Stan lawmakers heard testimony today from people who have suffered greatly due to delayed service by these first responders. 17th Ashley Zavala is in our Sacramento Bureau with more. Emergency management and health leaders say this problem has been plaguing emergency response in California for decades and has now been exacerbated by COVID-19. Now, the leader of the Assembly Emergency Management Committee did not want to see any finger pointing, but that's what happened in today's hearing. We find ourselves at a crisis point. Medical emergency leaders from across the state urging for changes to address ambulance holdups across California. <laughs> In an oversight hearing on the issue in front of the Assembly Emergency Management Committee, emergency medical service leaders and ambulance workers pointed to busy, understaffed hospitals and crowded emergency rooms as the primary reason for delays in patient offloads. Some said hospitals can halt an ambulance's ability to respond to a call for hours, leading to devastating impacts. There has undoubtedly been harm to patients because of these extreme bed delays, and there seems to be no end in sight. Other EMS officials said patient transfers should take no more than 20 minutes. Sacramento Fire Assistant Chief Eric Saylor said EMS workers in the area waited at hospitals or were on the wall for more than two hours, 700 times in 2021. He says hospitals should hire their own paramedics and face fines for holding up ambulances for longer than 20 minutes. And that may be the only thing that gets them to change the behavior. But emergency doctors and nurses say slow patient transfers and clogged emergency rooms stem from several issues, including staffing shortages, a lack of resources, and an increase in patients with non-urgent issues but who lack access to health care in their own communities. Some of the reasons include a lack of primary care, safety net health care, behavioral care, and I have to tell you, I will underline that 400 times, homelessness support, substance use disorders, and COVID-19, either coming for testing and or vaccines. The committee's vice chair said state lawmakers should reevaluate state regulations impacting emergency medical services. And look and see if they're truly regulations that are protecting the public or regulations that look like they are but are actually creating problems in the long run. Some hospital officials said they need more access to data, which the committee chair questioned. I think the data is quite clear that there is a problem. If nobody wants to move at these committees, these, these departments that are, have this data, then it's going to be our turn as lawmakers to come up with some solutions, some legislation that folks may not like. No specific action was taken, but lawmakers could craft legislation with the information gathered in this hearing. In Sacramento, Ashley Zavala, 17 News.